Howdy y'all. Hopefully y'all can see me. The sun, I swear, was just out. I don't know what happened. And I was getting, uh, well, uh, it was in my face, kind of. And I didn't turn on any lights because, you know, the sun was out. Welcome to Seattle in the winter. So, uh, got this little thing out here. Um, cause not because it's a great guitar. Uh, I purchased this a while ago and I purchased it because, um, it has coil spleen technology in it. I was also, um, at the beginning of my, uh, cancer stuff. So, um, I kind of didn't know what I was doing and, uh, it needed repair. I knew that, uh. And I, I knew that I wanted to purchase it to repair it. And I wanted to get a look at the insides of it for the coil split uh, stuff. I also couldn't understand what was going on at that time. Uh, so it's a good time to bring it out and uh, segue into it's Yamaha. And Yamaha, this is not the, the guitar that I had, but uh, I wanted to say happy birthday to someone, uh, to mom, Jerry. Uh, like I said, you know, when you... When you have friends that are more than friends that they're brothers, you also get moms along with that. So I got more than more than one mom. And Mom Jerry, it's her birthday today, 87 years young. And she is one of the people that uh, I will totally credit with me having this here, me having all of these here. Yeah, Mom, it's your fault. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's more like that was the first time I had ever gotten exposed to actually playing music with other people and it was with walt and jeff and and charlie in 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 basement in middletown man and it was uh it was something i'll never forget and that's where i i, I learned that that first scene you know say that's the first song I ever actually learned to play on the guitar because it really is and, um, thanks Walt thanks Chris thanks Jeff thanks Charlie thank you all and uh, I remember in the basement we none of us knew the words <laughs> went back to the album listened to it so we could you know try and figure out the words and, and try and play it <laughs> that was also the first time I knew that I could not play Strat style guitars just because of where the controls were. And um, it's been my lifelong search to answer a question Walt Lance asked me a long time ago. He's like, well, how are you gonna play the guitar if you know, you're know you always knocking shit out with, you, with your hand? And that's why I have all these different guitars because I'm still trying to find one that will fit my hand style. And well, looks like I'm gonna have to make one my own. So, you know. But that's why you know I want to see how other people do it, and that's why I have all these examples so that I can I can learn from them, um, and I can do it better, hopefully, and I can do it myself and do it, you know, slightly or more different electronics, slightly different, you know, layouts, you know, all sort of you know, let's do strange things, you know. Somebody did this for the first time and came up with the the first designs for these things. Why don't we go back and see if we can do it just a little bit better? Start completely from scratch and you know take the best ideas like Paul Reed Smith did men and, and take the best ideas and uh, run with them you know and uh, let's keep doing that anyway I just want to say happy birthday to mom Jerry and uh, the rest of the ranch just kind of follow along I'm gonna see if I can do something with this guitar here because wow these pickups are hot um,
And the action needs a little work, and uh, yeah, I think the frets are... Yeah, if I remember right, that's where the one thing that I absolutely loved about this guitar was the, the uh, fretboard was nice. So, um, yeah, man, I hope you all is having a good day and wanted to say hey and happy birthday to Mom Jerry. And, uh, well, I'm trying to get this better. It's not working. Always look up. I'll see you then. Boo!